Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex. What do we got? Another gift from Magnificent Bastard Isaac Wilson. Isaac Wilson, you Magnificent Bastard! Alright, so uh, okay. to the... Yeah, but, but here's... But but quickly though, I do need to... Basically there's a retraction, this is very official. Mm. If you were paying attention, you will realize that I said, Magnificent? Magnificent. <laughs> Are we now cor correcting your mispronunciation? No, it's really good. Yeah, yeah for the so, first time no, in no, six. No, seven I had years. a flawless record. I felt like <laughs> until now we needed to take a beat to address and right. retract the one and only mispronunciation I ever had in the show. Go to the couch. Okay. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the thing. We already did that earlier. Yeah. What do we got today? We're we're, uh, we're doing Middle West, but this time it is their wheat whiskey. Okay, so we're we're, we're doing the Middle West exploration. Wheat. wheat. Yeah. Wheat now whiskey. this is also one that's meant to be paired with a beer with okay. a brewery they worked with, but I'm just most interested in seeing what's their wheat. Hundred percent wheat. That's a hard one. I couldn't even find a good reference. Yeah. For like, here's a wheat whiskey everyone can get. Because right now... Why do you think it's a category that doesn't have a huge front runner? I just, I don't know. Because it's a, a good, I mean, like, Pappy is wheat. I have an opinion, but right. I don't know if it's accurate. It's just a raw opinion. So, okay, go ahead. It is that wheat is a, presents really soft. So, so Pappy is wheated. But you're, just, hid but you're just talking about straight wheat. up wheat. This is just wheat, straight right? up wheat. If you only do wheat, it tends to come across as like a really mm -hmm. soft, mild, gentle touch. Yeah. And it doesn't often present with the nice heft or the density of the corn or that sort of musty corn grain. But it, I, again, I think for the mass market, that sounds like it's just tailor made. You would a think, soft right? Soft touch and nice, you know. Uh, my experience when we were ordering it, it's also a little more expensive to do only wheat instead of mostly corn. Uh, Corn's cheaper. Well, I mean the yellow dent, mm -hmm. but according to the iron root guys, the heirloom and the variety. Yeah, yeah, but stuff, ninety percent and ninety-nine percent of right. the people making bourbon are right. not doing heirloom corn. They're, they're doing, doing yellow dent. dent. Yeah, so, which is unfortunate. Oh, you know what I could do? I just thought of it. Yeah. Do you want to gymnastic it? How gymnasticy do you feel? Hold on a second. You, with a straight face, look at my body. Hey, you said you were flexible. You look at. My, I have hold it. Hold on, hold on. You in writing. At, you look at this specimen. Yeah. And you ask me. Yeah. Am I up to the test? Yeah. You ask if you're you up ask to me it. Me if I'm up to the Captain test. Captain Flexible. Up to the task? Is this what you ask me? So see up there. Up to the task. <laughs> you ask me. Yeah. If I'm up to the test. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going lower and lower. <laughs> Am I? Up? See up there in the very top left of that shelf, there's a Woodford Reserve bottle. That's uh, the Woodford Weeded. I uh, just realized which that shelf the right there behind you. Behind me? No, no, no. You can stand on the arm of the couch. Well, that's what on. I'm saying. I'll, I'll take my shoes off. Yeah, that's probably it's best. It's kind of an expensive thing. See that Woodford shaped bottle on the left? Right here? Yep. Oh. I was just realizing Woodford has a wheat whiskey. I was remembering, I mean. Now, I don't know, is this, a, I, don't, I don't know that there's a 100% wheat. Can you get a water over there? It's behind the box. It's behind your box. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah. And that's when the vault channel ended. All right, I am looking up to see, what is the, ma oh, just over 50. It's, it's a four grain. So, Woodford Reserves <laughs> weeded is a four grain, whereas this one is 100% wheat. Yeah, yeah. so, so it's just another weeded. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking behind your box, Dan. But I still want to know how it compares. Oh, dude. On the table. Oh. Oh, in they're laying on their oh, side. they're inside your box. Nice. You put them in your box. Yeah. Got it. You What's in your box? box. Uh, yep. Take a gander, Dan. There's three of them in there. Okay. Smell that. Because I'm getting like a really densely sweetened. Very. It's like a super... Perfumey floral for me. Taffy. Taffy. Some, like, I just think candy, but chewy. Does that make sense? Some sort of taffy. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, like it's a soft candy, but it's definitely candied. It's like a cross between a grape and a cherry flavor. Mm-hmm. Taffy. Yeah, I like it. Again, um, I'm digging the nose. Haven't tasted it yet. We're going to be probably a similar proof. 80, 92 proof, 46%. Yeah. Like what Middle West is doing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a... Okay. 
Ooh. There's a little bit of a kernel of woof, swell of flavor, but then it sort of rounds into a soft sweetness that just lingers and yeah, glides it, out. It did feel like it was going to ramp up into a barrel bitter note. And it never did. But that just dissolved and left you with something sweet. What mm -hmm. is that? Oh, that's, again, the fruit roll-up. I'm finding on this one a similar fruit roll-up note. But raspberry. Because there's a slight, sour is the wrong word, but there's okay. a slight little curl Tang, to that tangy, kernel of candy. Tangy, yeah, not sour, tangy. Now, you, it's not going to taste like this. I'll actually like it. But it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to get Woodford's weeded whiskey. Mm-hmm. A.B. the Woodford. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, see, the Woodford has all the drama in the nose that the other one lacks. Mm -hmm. That all the other grains are providing. The corn. Oh, yeah. Oh, and that's spicy. Comparatively, the Woodford has more of the rye yeah, spice. It definitely has rye spice on the nose, too. Yeah. Because the wheat just doesn't bury anything. It lets all the other grains take uh, primary in but smells I, and tastes. I still don't know why that would prevent, I mean, maybe the cost of the grain, right? Yeah. But, but that, why that would prevent a huge obvious front runner for you want wheat whiskey. Yeah. This is Soft the one. Instead of rye, yeah. Maybe it's the cost. Hey, maybe uh, someday wheat will have its day. Well, I mean, it's been around long enough. That's why I'm surprised. Huh. So speaking of candy, I was watching this video um, last night on the YouTubes there mm. about candy making. It was, uh, what was, oh, it was Wired. Wired magazine, they have a channel. They were doing basically this little mini episode of a candy maker, and they're using all the equipment from the early 1900s. Oh, wow. Because the new shit ain't up to it. Oh, wow. And they made stuff so rock solid and sturdy back then. Yeah, it just keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. It was made out of like steel and copper and yeah. just bulletproof. I mean, they're just doing like beautiful, amazing things with candy. But you ever seen them do that? With you basically heat up sugar and water, and then they have this big, long, wide cooling table, like bigger than a uh, billiards table. Yeah, yeah. It's water cooled from the bottom. Right. And they put this hot molten candy on there, and then they can start to mold it and shape it. Yeah. And the art that they can do. No, it's, it's, and I watched a couple of those, yeah. and I think the ability to, to know that what I'm doing here is gonna turn out like that. Yeah. That, is that takes practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'll do something that's like, that makes no sense, but they know when they cut it in four ways, yep. 10 minutes from now, yep. it's gonna look like something totally different. What was super trippy was they had these candy pieces that they just look like little cylinders, right? Right. But they have this design on the inside. Yep. And it was like, well, that seems very painstaking. But what they do is they make just big, long, thick rods of like a gooey sugar. Just like stacked together and rolled together. Yep. It's about that big around. Yep. And then the way you get a small candy is you have this machine that's just constantly rotating it and you're just pulling just it off. Stretching it. Yep. Stretching it, pulling it off. So it maintains the individual layers, but you're getting tiny, tiny little details on a small piece of candy just because you're pulling it, pulling it off and chop, 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 pulling it off, chop, chop, chop. Yeah. Um, I would not want to work in a candy shop. No. Cause I'm not really a sugar guy, yeah. But just watching it, I would love to watch a candy shop stuff happen. Yeah. I love that process. Mm. We got the David Allgood. It's all good. It's all good. He's probably heard that a thousand times. Do mm. I need to join the Patreon to send you guys whiskey? Mm -mm. Uh, no, we're not taking whiskey right now. We got a couple of questions about this. And thank the, you for the first of all. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you for the offer. I mean, that's incredible. Uh, we got so far behind. Yeah the waiting list for people to send generously a bottle to us and to actually get to it. It got to, it was over a year. Yeah. So it's like, look, let's just. Still is. Something we did today is uh, one of these that we're gonna try in later on yeah. was given to us in May, 2021. Yeah, it's just, from, from our perspective, it's too long for somebody to be generous enough to send a full ass bottle of whiskey and yeah. then to wait a year before it shows up in the channel. So we're gonna get through the backlog and then yeah. figure out what we wanna do from there. But thank you, though. That's awesome. No, you don't need to join the Patreon to be very generous. That's not <laughs> a thing, no. Uh, Bob Goaty Tube. Get on with it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite comment of the random ones I was looking through. Uh -huh. it was, I don't even remember what video it was. It was just, it just said, get on with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh. 
Okay. <laughs> drink harder <laughs> and drink faster. Come on, get to work, you assholes. Quit dilly dallying around over here. It's like, I think whiskey is best consumed whilst dilly dallying. Yeah, well, with small talk. Right. Yeah, the guys who drink whiskey seriously, you don't want to hang out with those guys. I, They're really boring. I don't want to do anything with anybody seriously. That's that seriously, anyway. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, yeah, except maybe my accountant. I kind of want him to yeah. be serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want your accountant to be like, ah, don't worry about it. Here, have another drink. Right, right, right. You're like, wait a yeah, minute. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking of, I think my accountant is now your brother-in-law? Yeah, brother-in-law law. Yeah, no, so he's your... My sister's your, brother-in-law. Yeah, yeah, so he's yeah. the second cousin version of yeah. a brother-in-law. Yeah. yeah. He's very good. Yes, he is. He, how much Painstaking. He, how much does he drink, though? Uh, not enough. For my purposes, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep adding the numbers. All right. Once again, uh, the the Middle West spirits there. Step up. Yeah, I'm kind of bored by the name, but I am very impressed by the whiskey. I wonder where they're located. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver, sorry. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.